scrolling through the Netflix guide, deciding what TV series are worth your time to watch can be overwhelming. Especially if you're brand new to the Netflix, if you're just looking for the absolute best. We'll count down our top 10 favorite TV series that you can watch right now on Netflix concluded will be their original programming. They called Netflix Originals and it had changed from last year's video. We'll also be including TV shows that were broadcast. Delta works first before landing on Netflix. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown coming in at number 10 is The Last Kingdom. Don't let the ranking dissuade you. We think all making our top 10 are fantastic. This British historical drama premiered in 2015 on BBC2 in the UK, and it's based on a series of novels by Bernard Cornwell taking place in the 9th century. It follows who was born, a Saxon raised by Vikings seeking his ancestral birthright, and helping to create a new. If you enjoy well-choreographed action scenes along with gorgeous cinematography, this is the show for you. The first two seasons were produced by the BBC with Netflix becoming the sole producer beginning with season three. Four seasons of The Last Kingdom are available right now and has been renewed for a fifth, which is expected sometime later. In a number nine is the science fiction, horror drama, Stranger Things created by the Duffer Brothers and premiering in 2016. This Netflix original series follows a group of geeky friends that supernatural events occur in the fictional count of Hawkins, Indiana during the 1918. The series is full of nostalgic moments and reminiscent of films made by Steven Spielberg and Stephen King during that time period. There are now three seasons of Stranger Things available on Netflix and has been renewed for a fourth season. It's expected to release sometime in mid-2022. Kicking the number eight spot is the historical drama, The Crowd Premier Get 2016. It's Netflix original Chronicles, The Life of Queen Elizabeth. The second beginning in 1947 with her wedding to Prince Philip were centered to the throne in 1952. After the death of her father King George VI, along with events since then concluding in modern times, the production values are top-notch and the acting is super. Four seasons and total of The Crown have been released and has been renewed for an additional two seasons with the sixth. Closing out the series, season five, as expected in November of 2020, coming into number seven is the martial arts action drama Cobra, Kai premiering on YouTube of all places in 2018. The series is a sequel to the original Karate Kid films. It takes place more than three decades later after the events of the 1984 All-Valley Karate Tournament, featuring Ralph Macho and Williams ABCA reprising their roles as Daniel LaRusso and Johnny. Sirius starts out with Johnny reopening. The infamous Cobra, Kai Karate Dojo, reigniting his rivalry with games. This one also has plenty of nostalgia, but many of the cast members from the Karate Kid films reprising their roles as well. Albeit cheesy at times, it's well-written and highly entertaining. The first two seasons launched on YouTube with Netflix acquiring the series beginning with season three, all four seasons are available on Netflix. Season four was just released in December of 2021 and has been renewed for a number six is the psychological crime thriller Mindhunter Netflix original first premiered in 2017 and is based on the 1995 true crime book. Mindhunter inside the FBI's elite serial crime unit set in the late 1970s and early 80s. It follows two FBI agents and a psychologist who interview serial killers to build personality profiles that they hope will help to solve opening. Don't go into this one expecting a lot of action. It's a slow burn with fantastic performances and meticulous attention to the details of real-life events. Two seasons are available to watch right now, and the third season is on an indefinite hold. All de facto showrunner, David Fincher works on other projects while Netflix lost The Office. It gained our number five. Pick another one of the great comedies, Simon, originally broadcast on NBC. The sitcom was created by Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David set. New York City, it follows Seinfeld as a fictionalized version of himself. Along with his three friends, George Costanza, ex-girlfriend Elaine Benny's and his wacky neighbor Cosmos. Over its many seasons, it features timeless episodes still referenced today. There's too many to mention a couple of our favorites to check out. Include the Soup Nazi and the contest all nine seasons from 1989 through 1998 are available to watch on Netflix right now. Coming in at number four, we'll have two related series deserving. Other placement in our countdown, first of which is the biographical crime drama Narcos. This Netflix original draft for three seasons premiering at 2015 follows Colombian drug kingpin Pablo Escobar. The infamous Kali cartel and their interactions with other drug lords, their government and the drug enforcement agency beginning in the late 90s. Its companion series. Narcos, Mexico, which premiered in 2018, is also a Netflix original. This series moves north, tracing the origins of the modern Mexican drug war beginning with the rise of the Guadalajara cartel in the 1980s. Narcos, Mexico also ran for three seasons, but its final season being released in November of 2021. Both of these series feature fantastic performances with excellent production values that will have you fully engaged from beginning. Before we get to our top three, here are some bonus picks for you, worthy of being watched.
He British Anthology, Netflix original sci-fi series, Black Mirror deals with the unintended consequences of future technologies for Marvel Studios. The Netflix original crime action, legal drama Daredevil follows a blind vigilante who spends his days as a lawyer and at night bites crime in New York City. German, Netflix, original science fiction, Thriller Dark, which examines the mysterious, spanning three generations of four families living in a small town. The NBC fantasy comedy, The Good Place starring Kristen Bell and Ted Danson is centered in a whimsical afterlife where some humans are sent after death. The British political thriller Bodyguard, which is first broadcast on BBC One in the UK stars. Richard Madden, as a police sergeant assigned to protect the Home Secretary, the Netflix original political thriller House of Carbs which follows a ruthless politician willing to do whatever it takes to gain more power all but the final season are worth watching in Korean Netflix original survival drama script game which revolves around contestants playing deadly children's games for a chance to win a large sum of back to the countdown and taking the number 3 spot as the crime drama thriller Ozark premiering in 2017 as Netflix original stars Jason Bateman as Marty Bird and Laura Linney who plays his wife Wendy Bird, along with scene stealer Julia Garner as Ruth Langmore, the story follows Marty, who has to relocate his family from the Chicago area to the Ozarks. When a money laundering scheme goes wrong with a Mexican drug cartel, it's well written and acted with clever twist that'll have you on the edge of your seat. Three seasons of Ozark are available now and has been renewed for a fourth and final season, which will be split into two parts with the first part being released on January 21, 2022, and the runner-up spot coming in at number two is Peaky Blinders, produced by the BBC and premiering in 2013 as crime drama follows crime boss Tommy Shelby and his dysfunctional gang in England. After the end of the First World War, the writing, acting, and production quality are bloody terrific. Five seasons are available to watch on Netflix right now and has been renewed for a sixth and final season. But no release date yet season 6 of Peaky Blinders is expected to be released in the spring or summer of 2022 in the top spot coming in at number 1 or 2 related series that can no longer be mentioned without mentioning the other first of which is the crime drama, Thriller Breaking, premiering in 2008 on AMC. The series follows Walter White, an Albuquerque, New Mexico-based high school chemistry teacher played by Brian Cranston, joining forces with former student Jesse Pinkman played by Aaron Paul Walter who was dying from lung cancer currents to a life of crime to secure his family's financial future before he died. All five seasons of Breaking Bad are available on Netflix. Right now after a slow start, it's been a prequel series. Better Call Saul has built enough momentum to be on par with The Apprehension Show. The series premiered in 2015 and stars. Bob Odenkirk reprising his role as greedy criminal defense attorney Saul Goodman. With each new season, it continues to get better. Five seasons have already been broadcast but only the first four had been made available on. The sixth and final season of Better Call Saul is expected to be broadcast sometime in early 2022. There's been no word yet when the final season will be available on No. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite TV series on Netflix? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with our newest top 10s and other tech related stuff here on tech on both stuff here on